This is the fun, sporty version. You're looking for a vehicle that gets good fuel economy, great safety, excellent resale value, and something that looks a little different than everything else on the road. I've had a lot of requests to review this car. This is the 2019 Toyota Corolla. This is the XSE. It's the hatchback. It looks cool. Love the color. Almost like a Mustang. It's like it's a really fun color, a sporty enough color that it makes you feel like you're driving something more than just a fuel economy vehicle. The XSE is different than the SE. The SE is more about fuel economy in a more cleaner line, more conservative. This is the fun sporty version. 18-inch wheels, LED lights, and top safety. Let's go for a ride. Now inside the 2019 Toyota Corolla. This is the XSE hatchback, as I said, slightly different than the SE. So this is the sportier, more fun version, which is the version I always prefer. Of course, for those of you who want a more conservative version, look at the SE. Price is coming in very reasonably below $20,000. We're gonna talk about visibility. Nice long windshield, really good back visibility, nice side windows. I mean, overall, for a vehicle this size, there's excellent visibility. You can see the road, which I think is a big concern of a lot of people. For me, that's not as critical, but for some people, they feel much more comfortable if they can actually see the road in front of them. But you should always be driving much further in front of you. As far as seating comfort, there is lumbar on both sides. Yes, thank you so very much for listening to the consumer, Toyota, which some of your competitors are not. Looking in front of you, you've got really nice gauges that come in different uh, performance levels. You can put it in sport, but this is not a sports car. You can also put it in eco mode if it's all about fuel economy. One of the things I actually have to say is the turn signal on this Corolla is quieter than that on the Avalon. Isn't that weird? Really nice gigantic screen, easy to use, multifunctional, uh, much faster than the predecessor with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, as I've said, which may not sound like big to everyone, but to a lot of millennials, that's a really important factor. 168 horsepower and 151 pound-feet of torque. I think that's plenty for this car. And the fuel economy of up to 42 miles to the gallon, which I was able to earn later on in the week because I was driving it on the highway. So again, it depends on what you're doing with a vehicle like this. The center controls, as you look down, just like an Avalon, you've got standard vents, you've got your heating and cooling, you've got heated seats, both low and high, tons of storage in the doors, in the center console. I mean, there's a lot of storage, but I think that's what you need these days. We carry so much stuff with us. I think it's really important to do that. Going down to the center console itself, when you're looking at like what's in front of you. You've got your standard Prindle, which I personally prefer. Park reverse neutral, drive low. In addition, you've got a hold and a parking brake. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Two cup holders that hold pretty standard size bottles. Uh, get into the center console, it's got more connections. 2.1 amp for iPads and things like that, as well as a regular connection. Really, really nice. Interior-wise, I love this creamy gray interior. It's soft touch everywhere in a car that's coming in at $19.9 to start. That's pretty impressive. Back seat is kind of limiting, but the rear storage area is huge. You put the seats down, you can put a big screen TV back there. The controls in the steering wheel are really easy to use. They allow you to change the distance, the lane change departure, which I'm shutting off. And of course, your cruise control and adjustments for the radio. Really easy, and there's even paddle shifts. I guess it gives that sportier feel that way. But a vehicle like this with machined 18-inch wheels, the top of the line N2 and 3.0 system, Toyota's done a good job. And I think if you're thinking about a vehicle in that compact category that gets good fuel economy, especially, like I said, for a millennial, someone new, maybe empty nesters who want something sportier, this is a vehicle you should absolutely consider. We spent a week inside the Toyota Corolla XSE for $19,900 as a starting point. This is a great deal. Now, I've complained in the past about the look of the new Toyota lines, but on the Corolla, it looks good, especially on a sportier looking vehicle, and I have said that. So on the more conservative looks, it may look a little bit out of place, but I really love the lines of this vehicle. Everything about this vehicle is so much better than the previous generation Corolla. Not that it was a bad car, it was one of the best selling vehicles, but this is much more fun looking. So for those of you that are saying, what do you think of the Corolla? And I had a lot of requests for this vehicle. I think they've done a great job. It's going to be running for North American Car of the Year along with Avalon and a bunch of other vehicles. But this may be a finalist. The Camry was last year, so we shall see. So make sure to drive all the competition. Make sure to check insurance rates, maintenance rates. And if you're buying a car and you're leasing it, don't buy a car based on lease payments. Never pay retail. 
Look for those incentives, conquest discounts, loyalty discounts if you're a brand. There's a lot of great product out there on the market today and you don't wanna miss out on those discounts that could get you into a different car. So overall, Nice work, Toyota. Make sure to like and follow and share. And for those of you who are commenting on last time's shoes, I'm wearing Geoxes this time. If you don't like them, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I'm not a fashion plate. Anyway, thanks so much for your support on our Patreon page. We love bringing these to you. Check out some of our other reviews. We got a Ford Raptor. We were just at a Maserati event with my co-host, Al Vasquez, or my other co-host, Paul Bryan. And we look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks so much for your support. Take care.